What's up, fam? It's your boy Ghetto coming back at you again. And I realized I forgot one important question in my last video. A lot of people have been asking, how do you set up the Akai MPK Mini Play with the MPC Beat software? There is no default preset for the Akai MPK Mini Play. So let me show you how to map it inside the MPC Beat software. Follow me. So we are in an empty project. As usual, when I start these tutorials, I like to start it from a blank slate, a clean, cam a clean canvas. So in this video, will be pretty short, pretty simple, and we're gonna get straight to it. First thing you wanna do is go down to the MIDI Learn tab in the bottom right corner. I am currently on the Akai MPK Mini 3, but what we're gonna do is switch to an empty preset, and then we're gonna create our own template for the Akai MPK Mini Play. You can also do this for any MIDI controller that is class compliant, even if it's not listed in any of the presets. Now, as you can see, I'm currently on the Akai MPK Mini 3, but we're, what we're gonna do is actually create a brand new preset. Usually you can hit this drop down arrow and you got your factory presets and you might even have some user presets, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to these three hash marks that's to the right of that. We're gonna click on that and then we're gonna select new MIDI map. All right, now that we're on a new MIDI mapping, it's a blank slate. We're gonna click on the learn icon and then from here, you click on the pad that you wanna set. In this case, we're gonna to go to pad one. Make sure that you're on bank A of the MPK Mini Play, and you'll hit pad one. And a number will appear in that pad to let you know that it did receive that input. Next, you're gonna click on pad B, and you're gonna hit pad two. Next, pad three, hit pad three, and you continue to cycle until you have the bottom eight pads set. Now that you have the bottom eight pads set, then you hit the bank button. Now you're gonna do the same thing. Start from the bottom pad and work your way to the top in order to fill up the top eight pads. I'm gonna click here, hit pad one on the MPK mini, pad two, three, four, And now you're done mapping your pads. Now that you have your pads mapped, this part is gonna be a little tricky. Now we're gonna to go to the Q links. Now for the Akai MPK Mini Play, there are only six knobs on there compared to all of the other MPK Mini versions which have eight knobs. So normally, if you have a, a MPK Mini one, two, or three, you can go in here and set all 16 Q links. But with the Akai MPK Mini Play, you only have six knobs, and I believe only five of those may be programmable. I don't actually have one on hand, so I can't show you for sure, but between these five knobs you have, you can pick which parameters that you wanna be able to control with your MPK Mini Play. And you just click on that, and then turn the knob that you wanna to use to control that parameter and a number will appear just like it did on the pads. And you continue doing that until you have all the queue links that you want set. And it works exactly the same. So you can, so you can set your first set of queue links, hit the bank button, and then start over and set your second set of queue links. Once you're done, click on that learn button and you're done. Now, your pads work and your Q links will work according to uh, whatever you had them set to. So it's really that simple. And again, this will work for any controller that is class compliant. 
Um, just wanted to get that out there because I had a lot of questions on that and I did leave that out of my last video. That being said, thanks for watching. I'm out until the next one. I'll holler at y'all later.